Good day everyone! Let's start our lesson by identifying what's in the picture. So as you can see here, uh, these are abbreviations in writing or in texting, right? And what is the meaning of its abbreviation in the picture? I'll, I'll name some. We have here, oh my god, as soon as possible, laugh out loud, thanks, best friends forever, you're welcome, and so on. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using abbreviations? One of the advantages of using abbreviations is that it can save time and space when writing, especially when you always use those words. And one of the disadvantages of using abbreviation is that some receiver won't understand the abbreviations you want to say or they might interpret it in different way. And now, this lesson is all about introduction to algebra. Now, in math, we also use symbols to give meaning or to represent specific values. Now, here are the basic concepts that we need to take note. So, if you have 3x plus 2, okay, now, let's define first the terms. We have variable. It is a letter from the English alphabet representing possible values of quantity or it is the unknown value. So you may write any letters in the alphabet if the value is unknown. Now, in algebra, letters are often used to represent numbers. So if we have, again, 3x plus 2, this x here represents the variable or that represents the unknown. This x here is not the multiplication symbol anymore. So if we are already in algebra, we use x as a variable. We don't use it as multiplication symbol. And when you say a known value, let's just have an example here. The number of flowers in a garden is represented by x. Since we don't know yet the number of flowers in the garden, or it can be the number of students in the class is represented by y since it is not stated the specific number of students in the class. Next, we have numerical coefficient. Now, it is a number that multiplies the variable. So, if you have 3x plus 2, the 3 is the numerical coefficient because it means that a number that multiplies the variable, and this is the variable, okay, any letter in the alphabet, it will be multiplied by a number, and that number is a numerical coefficient. Next, we have constant it is a fixed value so here in this example 3x plus 2 2 is the constant so it is a no number or any real number so there is no variable beside it just um, the number itself we have also here term so it is either a single number or a variable or numbers and variables multiplied together so for example this is a term, we have 3x. This is another term, which is also, it says 2. Or it can also be a single number, just like 2. Or it can be a variable, so it can be y. And it can be variables and numbers multiplied together. We have here 3x. We have also here y plus 7. The y is another term. And 7 is also another term. So, term is separated by an operation. But for multiplication and division, that is still considered as one term. So, we have 3x. 3 multiplied by x, it's still considered as one term. If we have 3 over x or 3 divided by x, that is considered also as one term. So, the only... Uh, operations that separates the terms are subtraction and addition. Okay, this time, let's see if we understand the basic concepts in algebra. So, we identify the variables, constants, and coefficients. So, here are the given values or expressions. And we identify uh, which is the variable, the constants, and the coefficient. So, if we have here 10p, what is our variable? It is the, uh, when you say variable, is any letter in the alphabet, okay, that represents the unknown. So, we, the variable is p. 
and there is no constant since there is no uh, a low number so there is no constant and the coefficient is 10 since coefficient is the number that is being multiplied by the variable so that's our answer for no, uh, given number one next is 3x minus 2 so we have here the variable is x any letter and our constant so we have here negative 2 this one note that whatever is the operation that would also be the sign of the constant or the number beside it so if we have here uh, 2 as the constant but the operation is negative so we write here negative 2 and our coefficient is the number that is being multiplied by the variable we have 3 another one 5xy so our variables or we have two variables here we have x and y and there is no constant because there is no a low number and the coefficient is 5 beside the variable and then we have 2 2a plus 9b our variables are a and b there is no constant in this given number and our coefficients are 2 and 9. Last, we have 3m minus 5n plus 8. So our variables are m and n. So any numbers in the alphabet. And our constant is 8. And our coefficients are 3 and we have negative 5. Since our operation here beside a 5n is subtraction, then we include the sign of, besi of 5 beside it, which is negative. So we write here negative 5. Okay, another concept that we need to take note is the term algebraic expression. It is a combination of one or more constants and variables along with at least one mathematical operation. So we have here, for example, 5y plus 6 another one we have 3x plus 4y minus 7 so that's an example of algebraic expression on the other hand we have here algebraic equation it is a statement that shows equality between two or more expressions at least one containing variable thus it always has an equal symbol so we have here 5y plus 6 is equal to 25 or we have 3x plus 4y minus 7 is equal to 50. So the difference between expression and equation is that in the equation, it shows equality between two or more expressions. So let's have examples. So let's identify if the given is an expression or equation. So let's transfer all the given if the given is algebraic expression or equation so if we have 3a plus 2 is that an expression or equation so again uh, the difference between expression and equation is that in equation it has an equal symbol right it shows quality uh, equality so we have 3a plus 2 it's an expression and if you have 4x plus 5 is equal to 10 that is an example of equation if it's 5p, then it's only an expression. If you have 5p is equal to 15, then that's an equation. If you have 2q minus 5s minus 3, that's an expression. And if it's 3q minus 2s plus 7 is equal to 15, that is an equation. That's about it. So I hope that you learned something from our lesson about the basic concepts of algebra.